Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Oh, man. Who got bored this weekend and made an intro? <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the Christmas Time in the City podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Chris. Before we get started, be sure to follow us on social media. We're Christmas Time in the City podcast on Instagram and Facebook and at Xmas and City Pod on Twitter. Also, feel free to email any questions or comments to us at Christmas Time in the City podcast at gmail.com. So how many times have you been to the Rockettes Christmas Spectacular? Well, it's been a lot. It's become kind of a tradition. Ballpark. My my dad and my sister more than three year. times. Yes, more than five times. Um, maybe five or six. I think that's fair to say. Yeah, maybe probably six. <laughs> um, yeah, it's become a tradition when my dad and my sister come to visit that we go see the Rockets. And this year we brought the little one along, and that was pretty fun. So uh, let's talk about it, right? Well, let's talk about it. This episode is all about the Radio City. Rockettes Christmas Spectacular. But first, let's start by talking about its iconic location. Radio City Music Hall is an entertainment venue at 1260 Avenue of the Americas within Rockefeller Center in Midtown Manhattan. Nicknamed the showplace of the nation, it is the headquarters for the Rockettes, the Precision Dance Company. It was built on a plot of land that was originally intended for the Metropolitan Opera House. The Opera House plans were canceled in 1929, leading to the construction of the Rockefeller Center. Radio City Music Hall was designed by Edward Durrell Stone and Donald Dusky in the Art Deco style. One of the more notable parts of the Music Hall is its large auditorium, which was the world's largest when the hall first opened. The venue itself included two theaters, the International Music Hall and the Center Theater, as part of the Radio City portion of the Rockefeller Center. The 5,960-seat Music Hall was the largest of the two venues. It was largely successful until the 1970s, when declining attendance nearly drove the Music Hall to bankruptcy. Radio City Music Hall was designated a New York City landmark in May 1978, and the Music Hall was restored and allowed to remain open. The hall was extensively renovated in 1999. The names Radio City and Radio City Music Hall derive from one of the complex's first tenants, the Radio Corporation of America, RCA who planned a mass media complex called Radio City on the west side of Rockefeller Center. And now on to the Rockettes. Founded in 1925 in St. Louis, Missouri, they have performed at Radio City Music Hall since 1932. Until 2015, they also had a touring company. They are best known for starring in the annual Christmas show, the Radio City Christmas Spectacular, and at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. The Rockettes also conduct the Rocket Summer Intensive Program for dancers aspiring to be Rockettes. The Christmas Spectacular starring the Radio City Rockettes is an annual musical holiday stage show. The 90-minute show features more than 140 performers and an original musical score and combines singing, dancing, and humor with traditional scenes. The star performers are the Rockettes. Since the first version was presented in 1933, the show has become a New York Christmas tradition. The current 2019 and 2020 production will run from November 8, 2019 to January 5, 2020. The Christmas Spectacular began in 1933 when the Music Hall presented lavish live stage shows along with the latest Hollywood feature films. The first Christmas show was produced December 21, 1933, along with the RKO musical Flying Down to Rio and The Night Before Christmas, a Walt Disney Silly Symphony. The show ran for two weeks. This was just one year after the opening of the Music Hall in 1932. In addition to the annual Christmas show at Radio City, road companies have presented a touring version in theaters throughout the United States. The first Christmas Spectacular outside of Radio City was presented in Branson, Missouri at the Grand Palace Theater in 1994. The Rockettes, having been founded in St. Louis, where they were called the Missouri Rockets, returned home for the extravaganza. The successful show launched a national tour the following year. The original touring show was presented in conjunction with the Hershen Family Entertainment Corporation and ran from 1994 to 2003. In 2007, to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Christmas show, an entirely new edition of the Radio City Christmas Spectacular was updated, designed, and choreographed under the direction of Linda Haberman. For a brief time, it was one of the few shows playing in New York in December of 2007. 
during a strike which closed most Broadway theaters. This edition of the show was filmed and has been released on DVD. In 2011, the show was titled The Rockettes' Magical Journey. The production featured an updated 3D live scene and new musical numbers in addition to the parade of the wooden soldier and the living nativity. In 2011, the program's story focused on the Rockettes as they traveled through the northern forest to the castle of the Humbug King, who had stolen toys from Santa Claus's workshop. In 2012, a slightly altered version was titled The Rockettes Celebration, celebrating the 85th anniversary of the Rockettes with an additional scene. The 3D live scene was replaced with a more modern 3D ride through Midtown on Santa's sleigh, complete with 3D glasses. They also restored the number Ragdolls, as well as adding an updated subplot surrounding Ben and Patrick, two young boys trying to find a Christmas present for their younger sister. To be cast as a rockette, they have to be between 5'6 and 5'10 inches 